Hey, welcome guys. Welcome to the channel, Mr. Reef Buster. This is Monty, your host. So, I've been away for a long time, and I did tell you guys that videos are coming, and I am going to be reviving the Nano Reef as well as my main 45 gallons. So, today is day one of the revival process, and, and we are looking at the tank. Uh, after I just um, took out all the old water that was there for months and I just put in some new salt water up top I want to show you guys the sump area the way I haven't touched the sump yet uh, <coughs> sorry about that I got a little cold but just want to show you guys the sump uh, this is after I drained out most of the water from it and I cleaned up the protein skimmer cup, uh, as you can see. Um, and I'm, I haven't removed anything else. The Miracle Mud is still inside. Uh, I don't have enough water, so I am mixing more salt water so I can, you know, add more water to it. As you can see, the Miracle Mud is still there. Uh, I removed the old, uh, you know, biological and mechanical filtration that I had. Uh, so I'm going to replace that with a new um, Marine Pure block where, you know, where the old one was right there. And then on the other section, uh, I'm going to add the rest of the stuff that I need to add, like uh, uh, carbon and all that stuff. So just want to show you guys the way it's looking. And they're still, still dirty. And the tank is still dirty. Uh, I have to add more water to it. So right now, I just uh, you're looking at full tank with fresh salt water, and it is muddy, and you cannot see anything because this is lot. There's a lot of dirt and gunk in this system right now, which I have to flush out. Um, as you can see, it's everything is full. There's protein skimmers running. Now, I'm not, I'm not really concerned about the protein skimmer right now. Um, uh, that's going to come in handy probably to, in the second day. On uh, the second video, you'll see um, it's going to start taking out all the gunk and everything. Um, the light that you see, I just have the light here just so I can show you guys uh, what's going on up top. But, you know, the light's going to be going away. It's going to be completely dark. I'm just going to have the light on the bottom uh, where I'm going to be, you know, where I'm going to have the Kato and everything just during the cycling process. Um, but I just want to show you guys the way the tank is looking now that I added more water to it. So, and that's it. And I just, I'm just going to go over what I'm going to be doing, the process I'm going to go through for the next couple of months. It is going to be a lengthy process, so keep that in mind. Um... And this is not something that'll, you know, go back to the way it was within a week or so, maybe not even a month. So I'm, we're looking at about four to five month process to get back in. Um, this is just day one right now. And as you can see, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. The water has to cycle through. Uh, the whole system has to flush out. I'm going to have to do a multiple 100% water changes in this system just to get everything out of it just all just to get all the bad nutrients That's been building up in it out of it um, I did decide to leave the sand that's on the display I'm gonna I want to keep those sand and see if I can you know start the system just with that old sand that I have um, but the miracle mud, and you'll see, you know, in a couple in the video, you know, episode two or three, you'll see that eventually I do end up removing the miracle mud, even though it is in the system now. I am going to be end up removing that miracle mud on the bottom because um, and that mud is no no longer good, and and only all it does is just mess up the display tank more because I'm flushing the water through. And I end up getting Miracle Mud in the display. So I have to clean the sump before I can continue start the cycling process. So right now, all we're doing is just I'm trying to get the water throughout the system. But eventually, I am going to be removing the Miracle Mud completely, cleaning that sump area. And then we're going to make, you know, do a couple more water changes just to make sure that 
there is no leftover from the previous tank you know the death and the decay from the previous tank so when we start the cycling nothing is as a fresh it's gonna get a fresh start you know what I mean and that's what I want to go for this tank this we're gonna take it slower this time around um, probably why the previous version of this tank crashed because I may have gone a little faster or I may have done something wrong um, so the rocks from the old tank are in here and they are going to stay here. I'm going to cook these rocks. I will not be using these rocks for this new setup that I'm doing. These rocks are going to stay here. They're going to cook and it's always good to have some extra rock, live rock in handy. I might use it when I set up my 45 gallon again upstairs. But this tank is going to get brand new rock. And that will be another episode when it's finally done cleaning everything. And I'm ready to add, um, you know, a new um, rock structure on it. That will be another episode. But this episode, this is just day one right now. I just wanted to show you guys that the process has started. And this is going to be, I'm going to let it run like this for a day or two. And we're going to come back. And hopefully the water's gonna clear up. And hopefully, in the and the protein skimmer is gonna be tuned in a little bit better. This way, it'll start skimming and start taking out the things that it needs to start taking out. And we're gonna take it slow. And then I'm gonna clean the sump area. I'm gonna clean the refugium section. Get rid of the miracle mud. And and we will continue the cycling process on this tank. Um, but I wanted to upload this video. I know I said it a while ago, but I've been having issues with my computer to upload these videos, but now I finally got a chance to do it. So I wanted to, up, you know, upload the first video, show you guys the process has started. So if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. Episode two is going to be coming probably in a day or two. I want to thank you guys and see you next time, guys.